Good morning. Thanks for starting your day with us. I'm Molly Hendrickson and I'm Brian Sanders. Let's get right to our top stories today. The CDC will meet to vote on a vaccine distribution plan. They'll decide who will get the opportunity to be vaccinated first, depending on who the vaccine will help the most. Experts figure that to be frontline medical workers and our most vulnerable Pfizer and Moderna both filed for emergency approval from the FDA. Those vaccines will go up for review later this month. The city of Aurora has asked a federal judge to drop the wrongful death lawsuit brought by Elijah McLean's family. McLean died after Aurora police detained him and paramedics injected him with the powerful sedative ketamine. He was walking home from the store when he was stopped by officers. The motion to dismiss filed Sunday claims McLean's constitutional rights were not violated during the encounter and the lawsuit does not present facts to support the accusation that the actions of police and medics led to McLean's death. This morning, the city of Denver will continue cleanup efforts at a massive homeless encampment near the ballpark. About 80 people were living at the camp on Arkins Court. The city is offering services to those asked to move from the area. Soon that will include the city's first sanctioned campsite. It will open to women and trans women at First Baptist Church in the Capitol Hill neighborhood. The second site for men, women and couples is expected to open at a second church in the coming weeks. Here's meteorologist Lee forecast. We are looking at what is going to be a pretty big change when it comes to temperatures. At this point, quite a bit of cloud cover over the metro area. Might even see a few flurries over the northeastern corner of the state this morning. We're tracking a cold front that's going to bring our temperatures down from 50s yesterday to today. We're starting off fairly mild, 20s, 30s, even in some cases in Denver, 40 degrees. But we will see these numbers actually drop through the afternoon. It's going to get colder. We'll see highs later on today in the upper 30s to near 40 degrees. And in some cases, some neighborhoods are the warmest that they'll be this morning. Later today, chance for a few light flurries across the plains and the mountains are going to pick up a little bit of snow as well. It is going to be pretty cold tomorrow too. More light snow through Wednesday and then things will warm up and dry out by the weekend.